Hi everybody and welcome to vlog number four for Muscle Girl Fusion. Um, my name's Tori. If you haven't watched any of my other ones, I am here to just talk about life, health, and fitness. Um, today I just kind of want to touch base about chiropractic care. Um, I had my first adjustment at my new chiropractor today along with getting x-rays back um, that I had taken with them a couple weeks prior and let me tell you I'm crooked <laughs> as I feel like I like watch this video and I'm like uh, I feel like I am lopsided um, but it's actually really kind of eye-opening I will show you some of the uh, x-rays that I got back um, so that's my spine it's a little curved and then um, <laughs> this is where it gets funny I'm crooked Hey. So basically one leg is longer than the other and so with chiropractic care they can help with that and then the neck is the big one um, the red is my neck and the yellow is what it should be and um, we all have that problem everybody who sits at a desk all day hunched over or sits on their phone looking down um, and then this was another one that kind of threw me off um, and I kind of already knew this one. This one made me laugh because I went to um, get my hair done, probably, this was a couple of years ago, and I thought I was sitting with my head straight, and this was straight for me. And my hairdresser's like, no, you need to go straight. I'm looking at a camera. <laughs> I need to go straight. So I was like, oh, that's that doesn't feel straight. This, like, that felt straight. It was just weird. Um, and then when I saw these x-rays, I was like, that makes sense. And now watching this video, you can kind of see how I lean one way or the other. Um, but I highly recommend it for everybody. Uh, I was not a big fan. I never went to see a chiropractor growing up. Um, but I started when I met Rob. And it's been a game changer. I mean, I have seen a chiropractor for a while, so this issue could be a lot worse if I wasn't seeing a chiropractor. Um, I'm sure a lot of it has just come from sitting all day and from stuff I used to do in the gym to just everyday life. And um, I'm learning now more and more how to treat, take care of myself. As you know, I'm training with uh, a corrective exercise specialist and I'm seeing him two days a week. Now I'm going to be getting adjustments two days a week. I'm going to be getting laser therapy which is something I've never done nor did I think it was anything that was worth writing home about so we'll see how that goes and um, I'll also be getting massage and I also got some cool traction stuff for at home to help with um, getting that curve in my neck um, and a pillow they gave me a cool cervical pillow too that I'll just lay on when I sleep and that'll give me more of that curve um, to help out with correcting it um, so that's pretty much a lot of what I have today. It's just a lot about the chiropractor and I'm making some salmon so you may hear the alarm go off <laughs> of the, the timer, not the alarm. <laughs> I hope the alarm doesn't go off. Um, but I'm also, as I mentioned in last week, I was fasting. So this week I decided to fast on Sunday. So I did a 24 hour fast on Sunday. And instead of eating breakfast in the morning and then fasting until breakfast the next day, I had dinner on Saturday night and I fasted all of Sunday until dinner on Sunday and I ate. I did probably about a 22 hour fast, um, but I did some cardio before I ate, so it helped me kind of ramp up all those fat burning things. So that was exciting. And today I'm starting, I started intermittent fasting. So I ate dinner last night around 8.30 and then I didn't eat anything until about 11 o'clock today. And I'm going to make some food, and I believe my last meal will be within like the next half hour, 45 minutes. So my last meal will be around 7. Um, we'll see. I mean, it's definitely been um, good for my – I like doing stuff that gives me that satisfaction that, oh, my God, I did it. I did it. Like when I did the bodybuilding shows, it, was, it sucked. It was hard for four months. But at the end of the day, you're not doing it for those four months – I mean, it's cool, you did it, you can see yourself grow and you get the willpower with small little goals throughout that four months, but in the end, you're doing it for that end, that show at the end. And um, it was cool getting there. You just feel like that, oh, you're done. And 
couple shows just happened, so I'm seeing everybody who did the shows, and it's been just kind of cool watching it again, and I would love to do another one, but realistically, I'm not mentally there right now. Um, maybe down the line, maybe in the future. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but, yeah. And I just want to leave you guys with a quote by Edward Stanley. Those who think they have no time for healthy eating will sooner or later have to find time for illness. Even though that quote says healthy eating, it also goes with a healthy lifestyle and preventative care that can help you take care of your body and you need to put the money in now and you need to put the time in um, investing and in exercising in preventative health care and eating right. All of it counts. Do it now. Make it count. I don't want to find time for illness. I want to make my time right now and I want to do as much preventative as I can. Well, there's that timer and Rob's home. So I will talk to you guys next week. Have a good week.